Cathedral walls. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to build cathedral walls in Pro Kitchen. Now, I already have some walls set here, quick little set of walls. And to get to our cathedral walls, we want to go to our architectural elements um, catalog. And under architectural elements, we're going to swing down to ceiling. And under ceiling, we have two options. We've got cathedral wall. Let's stretch this guy over a little bit so we can see it all. Cathedral wall top and cathedral wall. Now the difference between the two of them is cathedral wall is going to build your eight foot wall along with the top on top of it with the uh, angle on it. Now the problem with the using just the standard cathedral wall is there is no zone on your cathedral wall. So there's no placement zone. Makes it a little bit difficult to place cabinets on that guy. So we want to use a cathedral wall top because we want to place cabinets on our wall below it. So we're going to grab the cathedral wall top. I'm going to drag it and drop it right out here. You notice I dropped way out here on the screen. And as long as I'm inside of the zone, it's going to snap it to the right wall. I'm going to drag it over to the edge of the wall. And I'm going to left click to place it. We're going to right click on it. Cathedral wall and resize. And now we're just going to click on the end because we can resize from either end here. I'm going to click on the end. We're going to drag it all the way over. And you'll notice my mouse continues. We we kind of we hold up and we hit that other wall, so it it knows where to stop. And once we get it there, we're just going to do a left click to place it. Now, here's our cathedral wall. Let's take a look at it in attributes. Here it is. If we hold down our right mouse button and move our cursor in that window, it rotates that wall. Kind of helps you be able to see the size of it. You can zoom in, zoom out too, that kind of helps. Plus you can use these for rotating if you want to. But it's easiest if you just hold down your right mouse button. Alright, so when they come down, we can put a price in there if we need to. We can add a plan notation if we want it to say something. Right now it's blank. Um, the, our wall width, 125 inches. That's perfect, 125. You shouldn't have to mess with that one. Wall depth, 4 inches, that's the thickness of the wall. That's going to match, we'll leave it 4 inches to match our, our regular walls. Now our left offset, we're talking about the distance to the peak height from the left of the wall. So we're talking about this little bit of distance right here for our left offset. Let's zoom in a little bit. We're talking about this little bit of different distance right here between our peak and the left for our left offset. Now for our wall is 125. 62.5 would be half of that. It's going to enter 62.5. Our ceiling length, that's going to be this part of our ceiling, how far it sticks into the wind, into the room. Now our walls over here are 65, plus the 4 inch thickness of the wall will give us 69 inches. So we're going to hit enter on that. And then our peak height. And that, of course, is the distance between the wall and our height of our peak right in there and so this one for demonstration purposes we're going to put a nice deep angle on it we'll do 48 and then we can do it right and left and zoom out a little bit on this guy so you can see the right and left here it's set left here it's set right so we want it to stay right we can add a note if necessary and we're going to hit OK now you notice nothing here changed that's normal you're going to see it in 3D. And here's our 3D. Nice little 3D image. You see our ceiling on it. Now, I didn't change the ceiling color, so it's kind of hard to visualize there. As you rotate, you'll notice the panels di disappear. The ceiling panel there disappears as you rotate through it for your invisible walls. I'm just going to set it right there. We're going to close. And now, if you want um, a colored ceiling in there, going to go to design settings there we go 3d beige paint is what it's set at though it looked fairly white to me let's do so you can put anything over here on there so let's do something let's do something we're gonna notice let's take full figured mahogany that might be a little overkill there we go Windsor mahogany Okay, we see we have it set there. Okay, now let's view a 3D. And here's our Windsor Mahogany. 
Now that definitely stands out as a ceiling color. So that is how to create cathedral walls in Pro Kitchen. Thank you for your time.